Hey everyone, KIC here, taking a break from the Let's Play I've been doing of Seven Days to Die Alpha 8.8. .8. Well, technically it started as 8.7, and I've just been kind of noodling around in creative mode and thought I would just kind of kick around with a couple of things, and here we are. I actually just spent a bunch of time digging what is actually a rather, well, shallow moat. Well, minus the water, since I guess it's not really a moat if it doesn't have water. It's a dry moat. I don't know, whatever. It's really not all that deep. It's maybe uh, six or seven blocks deep. And yeah, probably would have dug out pretty quickly if I would have used a bunch of really controlled blasts of TNT to do it. But instead, I just pulled out an auger and kind of uh, ripped through it. You can see it. I have it in inventory slot number nine right there. And just kind of dug around and put in a bunch of the tree trunk points and upgraded them all up to metal. Because I was kind of curious how much damage they do. I hadn't even messed with those since the update came out that added them. I think those were an 8.7. And like I said, I just I hadn't even played with them. So kind of hoping someone will run by momentarily here just to kind of give this a whirl. You can see how effective it is or is not. Let's see if I can track someone down. There we go. There's a couple contestants. Oh, and I just totally fell in and I'm going to die now. That's pretty awesome. So watch as I do this. Oops, wrong one. And now I get out. Ah, take that. That's what I get for being really bad about my jumping. And like I said, I really just kind of wanted to see how effective it is. I've actually lured a bunch of people in here and I'm glad I turned this on anyway because... That's kind of how you can lure them in, just to test, and zombies don't like to jump in on their own. But you can see, they're all taking damage pretty quickly, especially compared to the old points. If you've already messed with this, then you know what it's like. You don't necessarily care about how long it takes to kill these guys. You know, I'll just get rid of him right quick here. The other thing I've been kind of messing around with, and I'll show you that right quick here. Oh man, really? Sorry, those guys just kind of annoy me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. And let me turn flight off. I uh, just kind of put together this little tower here. Uh, why a tower? Well, I got to be honest, I felt pretty disappointed with the one I made in 8.6. So I wanted to try and rectify that and build a little more grand one in 8.8. .8. And yeah, I did put together a pretty tall one in my 8.8 .8 Let's Play series. Which, I guess, technically, this is part of that series. This is just a bonus episode that's unrelated to that save game. But it's not as big or as... I don't know if this is cool, but I kind of like the weird design. Yeah, I probably should have gone one higher on the concrete just to square it off. But, well, I didn't think of that till later, and I decided, heck with it. I'm just going to run with it. So, different windows on every floor. Lots of uh, metal trussing in the corners staircases that just kind of wrap around from side to side and then at the very top yes i could have kept going i just opted not to put up a little roof house a rooftop greenhouse that uses metal ladders as the roof cover and i'm pretty sure those will keep out all of the hornets especially since i hear one flying around right now and they do let light through along with the windows. So as you can see, I do have crops that are growing. In fact, looks like I have two corn that are ready to be pulled and a bunch of potatoes that are ready to go. And you notice I don't have any water up here. Water is not necessary for farming. I was under the misapprehension originally that it was, but let's remember this is not Minecraft. The rules are different. Water, while helpful for farming, is not necessary. The water really just lets the, the uh, dirt stay... I don't remember what the exact state is called. It's not plowed, but basically ready for... It, it leaves the dirt in a prepared state longer than if you don't have any water. So that's really all there is to it. Just kind of this quick little tower that before I put in the moat, Took a little bit of damage. I think I lost, um, we're going to say this block right here, to some zombies just kind of hanging out and beating on it. But for the most part, they ignored things. And I think the only reason they stopped was because I was, well, kind of annoying them. Let me see where I'm at here. 
And maybe I can head over to, where did I build that other thing? I think just on the other side of the church. For some reason I built on both sides of the church. Couldn't tell you why, I just kind of did. I think because there's a pretty good chunk of open land there and sounded like a good idea. Now I don't remember if this other one, this is an unfinished building that I was kind of experimenting with. And got to be honest, I haven't looked for it in a few days, so I don't even remember exactly where I built it. I don't think it was over here, because I'm pretty sure I built it up high. Those are the cabins in the game. And, aha, there we go. I knew it was around here somewhere, just not exactly where I thought it was. I'm not sure what I was going for with this building. Looks like the fires are still, well, some of them are still going. And there we go. Put a bunch of coal in them, so technically they should burn for a little while longer. And yeah, I'm not sure what I was really going for with this building, but I was just kind of experimenting with just some different designs, different sorts of things. Yes, symmetrical. Big metal door. And I don't know, I, I haven't quite figured out the structural integrity system, so that's really what this was about. It's kind of testing what I can do with ceilings and ended up finding that I needed more columns than I thought I did, which I was a little disappointed in because I didn't want to bunch in here. And I'm sure I could get around that probably by running trussing from one side to the other, just in different layers, kind of like beams, basically. I'd be willing to bet that would work, but I'm not 100% sure it would. The other thing I was a little disappointed by was when placing lights, I couldn't find one that actually worked. See, I left a couple there, and they're not on. Just disappointing. Not that it would stop the zombies from running, they're just running because they like to run. But anyhow, I just thought it was kind of fun to mess around. And that's pretty much it. I will uh, call it a day, and I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. See you later.